current income, personal income tax system, before uh, uh, aspects of income splitting is introduced, when you have individual filing, is discriminatory against single earner families, even once taking into account the non-taxation of what's called home production. When somebody stays at home and does certain chores at home that uh, would otherwise have to hire people to, to do instead. On the small business, um, uh, actually, uh, with, if you incorporate, and uh, you can easily have both your spouse and yourself own the uh, corporation and, uh, and get dividends uh, from the corporation, your spouse doesn't have to actually work, just has to be an owner. And, and as a result, you can actually do some pretty effective uh, split income uh, or income splitting in, in that way. Uh, it gets tolerance from the uh, CRA, and uh, uh, and a number of people do take advantage of that. Uh, if you try to do it on an unincorporated business, then you have to actually, uh, you're supposed to actually, if, if, let's say it gets a wage, uh, actually has to work and actually has to do things uh, for the business and get a wage that's appropriate. Uh, but also as the owner, the other owner of the unincorporated business, uh, you should also be paying a wage to yourself for your work. Uh, or at least, uh, or, or at least ensure that the compensation is going to you uh, in, in an appropriate way. Um, so that's the example I was trying to give. Is that there are mechanisms right now that does allow income splitting. In fact, there's other ones uh, that uh, that could be used, uh, which uh, is is done by uh, many upper income households, uh, especially if you have capital income, and you're able to make these arrangements, uh, or or uh, or small bit or business income, uh, as I mentioned. 